Some players and managers seem to have a special relationship. Harry Redknapp is renowned for often signing the same players, whilst other managers simply have a lone player who seems to follow them around like a lapdog. In this seven, we take a look at seven manager and player bonds that stood the test of time and multiple moves. Here are our seven managers who always buy the same player. Sam Allardyce and Abdullah Fay. The player Sam Allardyce is probably most closely associated with is Kevin Nolan. The uncapped Englishman had a lengthy spell under Allardyce at Bolton, before following him to Newcastle and West Ham, being a key man with both. Given that Nolan began his career at Bolton though, he only actually was signed by the former England boss twice. Abdullah Fay, on the other hand, was signed by Allardyce three times. Firstly at Bolton, then at Newcastle, and finally at West Ham. Harry Redknapp and Nico Crancher. Mentioned in the introduction, there are three players who Harry Redknapp has signed three times. Peter Crouch, Jermaine Defoe, and Nico Crancher. It's the last of those three, the former Croatian international Nico Crancher, who makes our seven. Redknapp first brought Crancher to the Premier League whilst he was at Portsmouth, before taking him with him to Tottenham when he left Pompey. After three years with Spurs, Crancher joined Dynamo Kiev, but he played very little football. Redknapp signed Crancher for a third time when he took him on loan for two seasons at QPR. Fabio Capello and Christian Panucci A two-time Champions League winner, Christian Panucci was signed by Fabio Capello three times. The versatile defender first linked up with a successful boss, AC Milan, at the age of 20. Six years later, he followed the Italian coach to Real Madrid. After a couple of years apart, the duo linked up once more in 2001, when Capello brought Panucci to Roma. The 44-year-old then moved into coaching himself, holding a job as Capello's assistant with the Russian national team up until 2014, and he is now the head coach of Albania. Brian Clough and John McGovern Like Christian Panucci, John McGovern was also a two-time European Cup winner, yet he was never capped by Scotland. He surely would have been if Brian Clough had been in charge of the Tartan army though. Cloughy had McGovern at four of the five teams he managed over the course of his career, which is pretty impressive considering the brief amount of time he spent at both Brighton and Leeds. McGovern began his career under Clough at Hartlepool, before being signed by the charismatic boss at Derby County, Leeds United and Nottingham Forest. Paul Sturrock and Blair Sturrock Paul Sturrock enjoyed a great four years at Plymouth Argyle, although he's had some rather less enjoyable spells since leaving the Pilgrims in 2004. One consistent throughout much of the experienced manager's career, though, has been the presence of his son, Blair Sturrock. Sturrock Jr. began his career playing under his father at Dundee United, before following him south of the border to Plymouth. Blair left Plymouth the same year that his father did, although not for the same club, but they were back together two years later at Swindon. They reunited once more in 2010, when Paul took the reins at Southend, bringing in Blair the same summer. During his time with Dundee United, Plymouth, Swindon and Southend, Blair Sturrock scored 14 goals in 165 games, which isn't exactly the best record for a centre forward. In fact, it's hard to see why his dad kept buying him. Or well, then again, maybe it isn't. Neil Warnock and Paddy Kenny One of football's most famous and eminently dislikable duos, it's Neil Warnock and Paddy Kenny. The tubby shot stopper got his big break under Warnock age 20, when he plucked him out of non-league football and brought him to Bury. Warnock left Bury a year later, and Kenny would follow in 2002, joining Sheffield United firstly on loan, and then on a permanent. They had a lengthy spell together at Bramall Lane, before being reunited at QPR, Leeds, and Rotherham. In total, Warnock signed Kenny five times. Age 39, Kenny is now playing in the ninth tier of English football, and it appears unlikely Warnock will sign him at High Flying Cardiff City, but never say never. Peter Taylor and Junior Lewis the ultimate player-manager loving, what made the relationship between Peter Taylor and Junior Lewis so incredible is not just the fact that the former England manager signed him a whopping six times, but also the minor detail that Lewis was rubbish at football. There must be something about England managers and re-signing players, because Taylor is the third former England boss to make this seven. Taylor and Lewis met at Dover Athletic, and Taylor first signed him in 1999 at Gillingham. A year later, Taylor landed a big job at Leicester City, but he didn't hesitate in bringing Lewis with him. They would later link up at Brighton and Hull as well. The Taylor-Lewis combination didn't end when the lanky midfielder hung up his boots in 2008 though. Taylor brought him in as part of his coaching staff at both Wickham and Bradford. Hell, he'd probably have given him a game for Bahrain if he could have found a loophole somewhere in his ancestry. So that's it for our top 7. Let us know your suggestions in the comments, thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe to HITC7s.